Welcome back, beautiful people of the interweb. I'm here with another video. Back home for spring break. I've got the car with me. But as you guys can see, first of all, it's very, very dirty. So I'm going to be washing this thing right now. I don't think I've given this thing a wash in probably like, I don't know, a month and a half, two months. So it's in dire need of a wash. But uh, I'm missing part of my front bumper. Yeah, not so good. Basically, one half fell off when I went on this drive on a bumpy road. I don't know, I thought I, I lost it when I like slid around a corner, went back to that corner, wasn't there, and now I realize it, it must have fell off a long time ago. So, I have a new one coming on Wednesday, and then the other side is in my trunk, but I didn't want to risk losing the other one on this drive back, so I just took it off. And I'm gonna figure out a much sturdier way to mount them because clearly what I did last time didn't work very well. So first thing, we're going to get to washing this car because it is just grimy and gross and dirty. And then after, we're going to meet up with some people. I'm not sure what the day has in store for us, but we're going to figure it out. Okay, so we didn't end up meeting with uh, Zach. So instead, we're going to have Mr. Grant drive my car. I'm going to try to see how this goes and that thing. Yeah, I mean, he drove, okay, so he drove Zach's M50 Turbo E30, which made, what, 230 wheel? 230 wheel, yeah. yeah 230 wheel. So this should be, like, just a, a little bit, a little hair faster, not not by anything anything much, but I'm curious to see what he thinks about turbo versus NA V8. Yeah. So. I drove Johnny's car with a built LQ9 C5 before that. Didn't really drive it too hard, but Zach let me, like, rip on his car, and I think this will probably be, like, somewhere in between. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. We will definitely see how it goes. I can already tell Grant's favorite thing is going to be dealing with the shifter. Because yeah. for people that don't drive IRP shifters, especially in this car because it just feels weird, is it's a little bit of a learning curve at first, I will say. All right, Grant has driven it probably, what, half a mile? Yeah, what, do you, about. what do you think so far? Uh, well, so far, the car's got torque like all the way through as far as like normal driving goes. Um, brakes, I'll have to get used to. <laughs> Shifter is like way more forward than uh, when I drove it with the M20. So that's a little bit of an adjustment. Um, clutch travel is different, but yeah, it'll, I'll have to get used to it, but like the car feels great. Like so far, I'm, I know it's gonna be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think- I got Brody behind me in my car. <laughs> yeah, whipping the, the black 30. I think this car has just got like a it's, a, it's a bit of a learning curve when you first hop in it. And I mean, Grant's the, the first person I've let drive this car. So, and probably one of the only people I trust to drive my <laughs> car. So that, that plays into it. I think it. this looks like a, a good opportunity right here. Yeah, I would Hold say so. Red light. All right. Oh yeah, these manual brakes. All right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it just keeps pulling. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Look how far back he is. <laughs> god. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, so you you just like basically spun through seconds, so you didn't even get like the I was torque. I was shifting at like 6'2. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the weird thing, it redlines all the way out to like the MPG gauge. Yeah. So you really don't get an accurate red line. Um, but I'll fix that eventually. <laughs> this thing's fast. <laughs> I probably need like one more good pull before I'm like, okay, yeah, like I know how it feels and like what like the limitations are, but yeah, so far, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, it's like boom. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking brakes. <laughs> I know, yeah. The okay, brake, if you really push them, they yeah, do, yeah. That's the thing, is like you have to like literally sl like slam on the brakes to get them to work. Yeah. It's uh, something to get used to. <laughs> oh yeah, look at Brody over there. Right. <laughs> Can I give it one more? One more good yeah. one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that guy was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, dude, when you get in it, it just spins yeah. all through first oh, dude, and second. Dude, this thing's fucking planted though. Like, yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel from you? This is the first time you're a passenger in it. I mean, it feels good, definitely. 
it's hard to gauge the torque when you're just spinning for most of the time, but it, it definitely feels fast. It yeah. feels fun. Oh my god. Dude, I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> Brody's like laughing the whole time we're passing him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I now I wanna I wanna like do a freeway roll with Zach to see yeah. how his car like compares to mine. His has a little more grip right now, I think. Yeah. But yeah, definitely like his is quick, but you have like the instant torque opposed to like waiting for boost. Yeah. He's still on like a pretty like generic tune right now too. Right. He's need he needs to go back and get like a few things like adjusted. Yeah. I mean Zach's car when it should be done, he's what, he was gonna go for like four hundred wheels, something like that. Uh, well right now it's like two thirty wheel yeah. on just like a base map with pump gas. He's gonna do E eighty five and he said that should probably be about another hundred more. I don't know shit about tuning. So <laughs> I don't wanna say too much and like just have no clue what I'm talking about, but I think around 350 is like what he's gonna be shooting for. Yeah, that's a pretty solid number for an E30. Like, yeah. the, you, this feels like a good amount of horsepower in an E30. Oh, 100%. So like, this is more than enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anything, any dude, anything more than like three. I would say 300 wheel is a scary amount in this car. So yeah. anything more than that is like to the point of being unusable unless you got crazy yeah. amounts of grip. That was the thing with Zach's car at 230. Like, there's a little bit of wheel spin, but it's like very much like right on the cusp of like being gripped up and like spinning yeah where it's like you can feel the cars fast but like it's very controlled still yeah it's all usable power yeah whereas this it's like you need to really <laughs> like, know how to drive with not a lot of traction yeah yeah i need a, a better side better tire setup at some point yeah. for sure like this feels like my drift car with the the 391 in the rain <laughs> except it's dry with fucking r triple eight yeah no it's uh it's a little spinny yeah it's fucking fun though yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it so far. It's so weird having like driven this thing with like the M20 or whatever. <laughs> just like all the same stuff that's like already done except now it's just this much faster. Yeah. When yeah. it already handled really well. Now this has always been one of my favorite cars to drive though. It feels like a go-kart. <laughs> yeah. It's really the only thing to compare it to. Like anywhere you want the car to go, it's there. Yeah. The car never even thinks about like losing traction or even like starting to let out. And I mean, all things considered, like, it's not totally impractical. Yeah, yeah, it's actually, like, it's not that bad. Yeah, at least, like, compared to my car, where it's, like, bushings, coils, bucket seat, like, I think the angle kit is really what does it with that thing. But, like, <laughs> I hate driving my car that I've, like, overbuilt, I guess. Uh-huh. But this thing, it's, like, even with everything, it's, like, still very drivable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad, because... Yeah. I had to drive this thing to school every day. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's definitely nice to know though that like everything has been like changed and like you would think that putting a motor like this in the car would like kind of take away like what makes it an E30 and like it still has all that. Like it still feels like one. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, like I would, what do you think like comparing it to Trent's car that had the S50? Like, uh, I don't know. I mean, Zach was saying that thing with like since it was barred, it had all the emission stuff. Yeah. Um, that feel that felt slower than like a typical S50 E30, but I don't even think this is comparable. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. That thing felt like, I mean, pretty similar to like my E36, if anything. Yeah. I don't really, there's not any car I've driven that feels like this, <laughs> honestly. I would say like, the I think the best, the best way to like put it in perspective is like just a really small Corvette, maybe. Because, as far as like power, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Like power to weight ratio, it's like a really small Corvette. Yeah. We've taken an uh, alternative route because nine was closed, and we're just gonna go on some uh, some back roads. So, yeah. When you raced the E46 M3 the other day, how yeah. much faster was this? So. It was like, let me, I'll update them, because oh, yeah. on, on the way to school, basically, I like lined up with an E46 M3, and we did like <clears throat> a very, very small pull. Um, but basically, I think it was, we were probably doing like 50, 60, and we both floored it, and we were like neck and neck for a little bit, and then I was slowly, slowly starting to pull on him, and I think I got like a bumper to a wheel in front of him before we like stopped at like, I don't know, like 90. So I need to, I definitely need like a, a good, I want like a 30 roll. Yeah. I think a 30 when roll. you did that, were you like top of any gear when you did it or were you kind of like in the middle? Mm, I was like middle to top of, I think fourth. Okay. Fourth or third, yeah. 
but I think like a good 30 roll in second with an E46 M3 would be like really, really good. Um, and then I also, I want to do one with an E39 M5, but those are a little harder to come by. Um, Cause I really want to see where this like stacks up with other cars. And then who knows when I like, I get it barred and then I can go and do all the other modifications that will bring it up to like the 300 wheel, 310 wheel range. <laughs> Come on, you have to. That's the point. Ready? Three, two, one. Bye. <laughs> okay, so we made it to Alice's and we've got three E30s. We've got mine, we've got Grant's, and we've got Kian's. And I think it's safe to say Grant enjoyed his, uh, his driving my car. It was pretty fun racing his car on the freeway and just watching it fucking bully him. So. That is the okay. slowest car I've ever driven. <laughs> the slowest thing I've ever driven in my life. Yeah. You gotta like Actually, smack the fucking motor, wake the horses up. <laughs> good, good car, good car. Slow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like no, the dude. dumb friend that big everyone ETA likes, guy. you know? Yeah. It's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's slow, but you cut him some slack because yeah. you're your friend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you say it's slow. traffic, but really the car's just slow. Yeah. yeah. That's why you're late. No, exactly. All right, Grant, final thoughts. What do you think? What, I mean, what do I even say? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> good car, good car. Better than my car. No, it's so fun. I, I love it. It's I great. Huh? A little, uh... Dude, literally, it's weird. Because, like, from driving that and, like, driving my, like, the E36 with, like, no traction in the rain and stuff, uh, like, feels like I've driven it with the M60 already. Really? Yeah. I will like, it say... wasn't, like, scary. Okay. Huh? Like, the Corvette was scary. I will say, <laughs> yeah. you need to, like have someone <laughs> drive it while you're in another car yeah because when like especially a two it's, three yeah when he clutches in it's wild <laughs> that, like right at um i don't know where we were somewhere in saratoga, Sar yeah. saratoga. Yeah. I you, just cl you click, you click a th two three, and it just made me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> just you look back like, and you're like just dying. It's, <laughs> it's just, thing. it's just all wop, and then pop, and then yeah. it shifts. It's so good. Well, once yeah. I figured out that the tack goes like that much Straight further path. than what it yeah. says, like moves through the gears. Yeah. It's crazy. No, yeah. it was very entertaining. <laughs> so, especially, especially. It was entertaining to drive, especially. The, well, the best part is I could tell when you started to get more comfortable too. Cause uh, it yeah. got better and better and better. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Dude, I don't know what to do with six gears. It feels like a fucking is labyrinth. Is it a six speed? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh right, because it's like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm, yeah, I, thought mm -hmm. you like, I thought you had the E30 trans in it. I wanna, I wanna see a drag race yeah. between these. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> we we bad. raced on we <laughs> raced on the freeway. I shit you not, gone. Like it was just bullying. It was bullying. I, I fucking okay. know what the order is <laughs> gonna be. I just want to see. There's, the there's, there's no power band. There's like nothing. It's yeah. just it's flat. The whole well, time. These are high-end like, cars, and this car doesn't have a high end. It revs right. it right. right. like well, five. Not, <laughs> it's like driving a a, a non-turbo diesel. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically the same. Yeah. No, look, this is. Yeah. So I think I think I've I've gotten enough content for today's video, but uh, yeah, these things it just looks so good together. Other than my fucking missing bumper, that's not fun. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Uh, next video will hopefully be with Zach's car. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one.